and he's going to be complaining about it the whole time. <laughs> so middle age, and it's not just women, it's men too. It's like we all have these phases in life, but this is the one that things start going downhill. I like to think of it like the Price is Right show and that little man and the little mountain guy, you know? He's got his little hat on, he's got his pick, he's got his cute boots on. Does anybody know how that song goes? Who knows the song? Somebody started. <laughs> Come on, y'all can do this better. <laughs> All right, let's start again. Ready? <laughs> he's so happy. He's like going up the hill. He does not know what's coming. He just goes straight over the top, right? And in my version of this game, Bob Barker comes on and goes, Aww. Here's some hormone replacement therapy and a light sweater. <laughs> And that's for the women, but for the men, you know what you get? A prostate exam. <laughs> <laughs> and some tweezers for those coarse hairs on the back of the Delayed, delayed, delayed. So one of the things that I've noticed this past couple of years is that my face has just gotten longer and longer and longer. And I know it's like not that bad right now, but it used to be like up here. Now it's like this. And you know it's like old fashioned men that had that like mustache that went like down like this. That's what mine's like right now. I call it my skin beard. <laughs> and it's just gotten started. Like a young man who's just started a beard. You know, it gets longer and longer. And in my family, the women, it's like rings on a tree. Like every year it gets longer. <laughs> yeah, I had an aunt who died last year and hers was so long that all the heirloom jewelry was like tucked up in there. <laughs> A breath mint, <laughs> some tissues, and some of those missing papers from Trump's White House. <laughs> yeah, we took those, we hid those at our cousin's house that we don't like. <laughs> Y'all think about that for a minute. We're just going to hold that over our head when we need to know. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the skin beard. So don't hear me talk about the skin beard. That's what that is. Um, I also have friends who have vacation homes. I don't have anything to offer them back. They invite me and I don't know what to offer them back, except for these uh, cemetery plots that I inherited last year. <laughs> no one seems to want to take me up on that. Yeah, they're in a historic area. Um, the nightlight's dead. The nightlight is dead. Uh, the neighbors are quiet. I, I don't get it. Um, I don't know I'm going to talk about hot flashes because that's another thing in middle age. Um, you know, we hear that they're going to be happening, they're coming. Um, they kind of sneak up on you though, but for you men, it's not like the prostate exam. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sneak up on you at all. You know when that's happening. But for the hot flashes, it's like, it's like July and you just all of a sudden you're like, does somebody turn on the heat? And, uh, and then like three or four times later, you're like, no, someone didn't turn on the heat. That is a hot flash. And so I called my mom and I'm like, mom, is this what it is? And she said, yes. And I said, how long does it last? And she said, till you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and she was lying. Um, now I know that God was mad at Eve because you know she ate the apple and she gave it to Adam and that the whole like pain and childbirth thing. But did he have to rain hellfire from the inside? <laughs> it doesn't burn one single calorie. <laughs> because if it did, I would weigh a lot less than I do right now. <laughs> Hot flashes. Um, one of the other things about being middle aged, if you're lucky enough to get here, and you're lucky enough uh, to have your mom, is that you're going to start losing your parents. Um, and I lost my mom this summer, um, but moms, uh, moms and, and older people are funny, and they don't, they don't, I don't think they mean to be funny, they just are. Um, uh, my mom, my mom called the police on my dad for speeding. <laughs> <laughs> and she was in the car. <laughs> Can you imagine? She turned to my dad and asked him what his license plate number was. <laughs> dad wasn't worried though it was a Saturday and all the college sports teams were playing there wasn't a state trooper on the highway <laughs> at all 
Um, but my favorite thing about my mom this past couple of years was her intense love of the TV show Outlander. <laughs> yeah, so I see we have some Outlander fans in the house. Yeah. Okay, so my mom loved Outlander and she came for the historical fiction, but she stayed for the other one. Which totally amused my sister and me because my mom was such a prude. But do you know who was not amused? My dad. <laughs> in fact, he was quite disappointed. He said that if Outlander had been around in the 70s, my sister and I would have had at least three more siblings. <laughs> and I think that's my time tonight. 